Hello, I am Dr. Shuddha Shatosen, Senior Consultant, Surgical Gastroenterology, GI Oncology, Laparoscopy and Liver Transplant, presently associated with AMRI Dhakuriya Hospitals, Ashok Nursing Home in Jodhpur Park and KDK Center being my chamber. I was a former Senior Consultant with the Fortis Group of Hospitals, a Director of Medica and Apollo Group of Hospitals. See, liver is called the powerhouse of the abdomen or the body. Now what happens is this is an organ which is around 1.5 kg weight and this is in the upper part of the abdomen just sitting below the heart. Now it is important for a lot of metabolism in the body and detoxification of the toxins that enter our body. Now what happens is uh, liver cancers are tumors of the liver which is the hepatocellular ca carcinoma. They can form majority or which are damaged livers that is cirrhotic livers. Cirrhotic livers can have many reasons be it alcohol or be it non-alcoholic. It can give rise from fat, it can give rise from viruses, specifically hepatitis B and C. It can be from various other reasons. Apart from that, there are the normal livers where a liver cancer can form. How do we know that liver cancers may not present with a symptom? You can sometimes have a diagnosis just based on investigation. There can be a cirrhotic liver which you are following up with ultrasound and alpha fetoprotein blood tumor marker. Those rise and you find a tumor. Sometimes they may present uh, with the compression of the intrahepatic biliary tree giving rise to jaundice and many other features. Sometimes the gallbladder can also mimic a liver cancer that gallbladder cancer goes inside the liver and forms like a mass or there can be intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma that is tumors which form from the bile duct. Now what we would have to do is very important for liver surgery is uh, not all of them would be operable. The cirrhotics have a different a group of uh, planning and the non cirrhotics have a different planning because cirrhotic liver uh, the liver function is poor so you will have to keep a much larger segment of liver back in the body for the proper function to come back or the, to prevent a liver failure whereas in normal livers you can chop off like recently we did a liver patient where we had chopped off almost 80 percent of the liver so uh, 20 percent to 50 percent of the liver has to be kept back we would have to stage the disease, there are multiple classifications. What we do is a tumor marker, blood studies, the uh, CCT scan, sometimes MRI, PET CT, etc. to stage the disease. If they are operable, the tumor is within the liver, it is not involved the major blood vessels, we would go for a liver resection. The liver resection can be minor or a major like a right hepatectomy, left hepatectomy, extended surgeries. We can even do it laparoscopic, robotic, anything. Uh, the blood loss. Uh, is substantial but nowadays we are trying to control in different ways to do even bloodless surgeries in liver surgeries. They are very complex surgeries but the results are uh, quite good. But what you have to understand that uh, some of the liver tumors also if they have a cirrhotic background and have a portal hypertension may actually benefit from a transplant. Not a liver resection but take the liver out and put in a fresh liver. But not all of them would actually land up with a surgery because if the patient has portal hypertension of cirrhosis, low platelets, these patients may be very risk, uh, high risk for surgery or resection or transplant. They may be put only on chemotherapy or a transarterial chemoembolization, radiofrequency ablation and various other sorafenib etc. chemotherapeutic drugs. So liver cancer is a subject of the hepatobiliary surgeons. So you have to first have a diagnosis, once you have diagnosis, stage and then you go for a resection or the other options available.